Well, it may be snowy outside, but keep calm and keep sign writing. Watch this. Look at this. I've been out in the van to do a few jobs, but it's uh, getting a bit treacherous. Two inches of snow in England just grinds to a halt. But nevertheless, we'll carry on. Uh, so I'll come back here. I've got a job to do for a beauty salon place called Vibes. And uh, so I've got to copy that onto there and put... This is <laughs> gives you an idea of what I, I have to work with, but it's absolutely fine. So she's just written on here a few pieces of uh, information. I've got to put those on both sides of here. Vibes, fitness for, for women. Right, ah, before we start though, <coughs> it's important that we have tea, of course. And uh, this time it's courtesy of the uh, the Milltown Mug from Idaho. Thank you very much indeed. Oh no, Indiana, sorry. You'll begin with I. Uh, Indiana, from Tom. Thank you very much, look at this. Lovely. Whew. It's a kick to it. Mm. Very good. Right, let's get going. Before I start properly, let me show you what I've made. Uh, a new brushes wrap. It's a wrap for brushes, a, a case. It's just out of canvas. Uh, there we go. But they were falling out the top, so I put that extra flap on the top. Some of you might be thinking that. Um, I've put a few pounds on since Christmas, that's true, but actually I've got about five layers on because it's pretty cold outside and it's the first real snow we've had for a while, so let's press on and see how we get on with uh, this Vibes board. Oh, sorry about that. Right, uh, Vibes, here we go. On the top, the word Vibes, I'm going to use this uh, biggie number 30 in purple and uh, the instructions from the lady was uh, purple and pink so it's going to be mostly with a, a biggie like this and with the brushes as well uh, I've said before I get these from BHMA in England and also marker supply I think it is in America I put that down and the brushes just to give everybody their plug these are from uh, Rosemary and Co and uh, these I've just bought, these are new ones and I'll see how good they are. Okay, oh and while we're on websites of course we can't forget the fact that you can get a full length DVD of this work that I do. There are two of them, one is called More Chalkboard Art and the other one is uh, Introduction to Chalkboard Art and you can get them from my website which you can see here. Okay, okay Vibes uh, when I'm doing these sort of logos, you really only need to get them 99 or 95% accurate. So I'll put a line top and bottom, just copy it, here we go. Now, it's why if I just do this, get a thin there so I've got to try and turn the pen as we go which is a bit tricky. EZ, make sure I've got enough room. Now look here where the E comes up, I want to get that accurate. I can tidy it in with a small pen in a moment. That is the widest part that is at the cross part so let's do that slightly thin wide across there. Right, that's enough to be started with. What I will do now is just dry this off and then I'll be able to tidy it up a bit. <clears throat> right, just get those edges straight with a ruler. Now I've got to put some orange here. Let me just show. So this orange has got to go on top of here, roughly these three squashed circles with one of them in the middle, others each side. Now if I'm going over the top of the purple, it might run. So there's a trick. I've got some spray 
clear varnish type paint there's various sorts you can get so uh, I'm just going to spray this right on the area to fix the purple and that'll do me dry that off completely right, I've put the orange in and edged it with white and now I'm going to take a pink because I want this word vibes to stand out a bit more the purple is a little bit dull so I'm going to as if the light was coming from this side and there would be light on the top of the letter whoops and to there and these undersides wouldn't get the light so if you see closely we've got the word fitness for women here in a very loose style set against this uh, it looks quite good so let's see what we can do fitness for women the two F's look like that so if we do that if nothing else we'll be okay and now the brushwork I've got three things to put down here I've marked them out uh, and I've put a line here so they all start at the same place and I'll put a star at the start of each personal training this is with a brush this will be nice in pink so you can Next one, vibration exercise. Free. I'm going to go back to white and put free in with the brush. So first session free. Well, we're nearly there now. <clears throat> I've got to put just call Liz at the bottom here. But let me just... Sometimes a, a line like that is very helpful. And now on my bended knee, for your sakes, call Liz. Let's do... Make Liz a little bit feminine, if that's what feminine is. Here's the number. Two double seven. Most of the numerals follow an oval shape. Seven, not the seven, of course. But maybe the two does. Zero. One. 
some always worth double double checking the number zero double seven double six seven twenty one seven seven that's what it says okay that's it more or less done there finished so we had the brushwork I, I quite like this difference between the white loose thin lines against the pink which is nice the lady wanted this logo on and they're quite easy to get right you just copy them but you can add a little bit more to them which is good I'll put these bits of white and then you've got this which I sprayed beforehand so it didn't mix with the purple underneath which is nice to do great that's it all I've got to do is now the same on the other side and I've done it already okay lovely uh, right happy lettering and I'll see you again another time bye bye mm -hmm.